G'day, Tiny here from Off Tap Brewing. Bit of a slow day today. Got some uh, house cleaning to do. Got some tidying up around around the place. We've made a mess over the last couple of weeks. Knowing that we'll do it on the Christmas holidays. So, I um, don't know if you can see in the background right there. I'm currently in the middle of installing my Z906 um, Logitech sound system. And yesterday I climbed up in the roof and realized I'm too big to be climbing in roofs. I was able to get two, two wires through the roof. Um, so today we're gonna go down to the hardware store and get some knee pads and Des is gonna get up there because to get the other two, where they are, is on the edge of the house. They'll be going up there and down there. And I got that one and that one up. But to pull those cords through, there's no way I'm able to fit. So, Des will be having a crack at that, which will be fun for her. I might um, send the video camera up there or something with her, I don't know. But I shot a little, um, little video I'll put on the back of this one <clears throat> about uh, a, a work kit that I had just spontaneously start fermenting. Um, yeah, don't know how the yeast survived in a 100 degree temperature in that. So if any of you guys out there have some insight on that for me, I'd be glad to know. Um, hope you guys had a good Christmas. Um, planning for New Year's. Um, Going to make a call today. Try and get a, a play date up at the brewery. Um, let the guys know, we'll probably head up there in a couple of days. I'll take the video camera and do an interview with the master brewer up there. So that'll be pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm about to call Callum soon actually, so. Not really much to say today. Um, got some videos planned for the weekend. Some brewing planned for the weekend. Uh, designed a new recipe, another lager recipe. A Munich style, well, it's got muted grain in it, so, and I've got some Savlanian, Savlanian, oh, Aurora hops, so I might give them a whirl in, in it. Um, I think I'm just going to go half Munich, half Pilsner, so we'll see what that, what that turns out like, and a bit of Aurora and um, some Admiral to bitter. I might even use Aurora to bitter, depending on the alpha acids, I think it's about 9%, don't know. But I just wanted to, just had had to get one up this week to, you know, thank all you guys for all your support in the, in the arse end of 2012. Um, I appreciate all the good comments. I appreciate all the likes. Um, I appreciate all the subscribers. Thank you guys. As you've seen from my previous videos, I've got big plans for the channel in 2013. That's all kicking off. Um... Yeah, just got to get motivated and do it. Got to get off the beer tap for a while. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow. Um, yeah, just a short one. As I said, I'll put that video of the fermenting clearing cube on the end. And remember, beer makes you smarter. G'day, Tiny here from Off Tap Broom. 10.30 in the morning, just dragged myself out of bed. Got the speaker system to hang today in the lounge room, the home theatre and thought I'd go out and check on my fridges, do a fridge check, see if everything's running at the right temperatures, see, check on fermentations. I've got 50 litres of Saison in my one of my fridges and just check on the fermentation. That started, so I'm happy with that. Um, but then I had a look over at my clearing cube, uh, at my um, cubes that I did this weekend of my Pom's Breath, uh, English Bitter. And one of the cubes was bloated like a balloon. All right, fermentation started. I don't know how it possibly could, because um, you know this this liquid's going in here at straight off the boil. You know, there's no time difference. It's just going straight in. So I opened the open the cap, got that sound. Smell the cap. It's very flowery, very eastery. Um, 
obviously the heat from being in the shed next to the shed door for a couple of days has really really promoted fermentation temp um, you know a hot fermentation so it's definitely going to be eastery but that just, just you know there's just lots of crud on there I don't know how many <laughs> I don't know how many yeast strains got started but if you have a look in there Wild yeast, old yeast in the vessel. I reuse these vessels for my own purpose. Um, saves me a bit of coin. As you can see, I've had a few different beers in there that are all scribbled out. At the moment, it's the Pom's Breath. Um, yeah, so that started quite well. It's going nuts. It was started without any oxygen. As we know, boiling the wort removes oxygen. Um, as we know, Temperature kills yeast at, at high temperatures like that, such as boiling. Um, so this will be a, an off-tap brewing experiment. Let's see what comes of this beer. I've moved it in and out of the shed into the bedroom. So I'll leave the aircon on 23 degrees. I'm touching this. It's like, oh, yeah, probably talking 28 degrees. Way too high for fermentation. Hence the smell. But I think that might dissipate a bit. Um, so yeah, we'll keep you updated on this experimental wild yeast sort of concoction that just happened. All right, it's not, I'm not going to wind the lid down. I'm just going to leave it off a little. It's not going to not going to bubble over or anything. So yeah, who would have thought it? Remember, beer makes you smarter.